Hey everyone, it's me, Clay Kondo, here for a new video today. And today's video is going to be a DVD and Blu-ray update for October 27th, 2024. So this is going to be yet another movie update. And for this update, I have 22 DVDs and 3 Blu-rays to show for this update. So I got some more movies once again, so yep. So anyways, let's get this update started. First, we're going to start with the 22 DVDs. And the first two DVDs are two DVDs that I got from the Criterion Collection website. A part of the, which on Wednesday, CriterionCollection.com had a 50% off flash sale. So I ordered two DVDs, DVDs and three Blu-rays from their website for that sale. And here are the two DVDs that I got from the CriterionCollection.com website for the 50% off sale. Side number is 397. This is a 1962 movie. This movie is in Russian with English subtitles. So this movie is so this so this is a movie from the Soviet Union. Back in the well, back in the day it was called the Soviet Union until they changed until the Soviet unit country was, was renamed to Russia in 1992, I believe. And here's the other Criterion Collection DVD that I got from their website. Sign number is 265. This is a 1993 movie from Fine Line Features. And the other 20 DVDs that I got for this update are 20 DVDs that I got from my library's book and media sale yesterday, which they were having another book and media sale on, on Saturday. So I got 20 DVDs from that sale. So here they are. This next DVD, this next DVD is one of six DVDs that originally belonged to my library. As you can see, but they're not, but they're selling it, so it's mine now. This is a Fox Searchlight Pictures movie. This is one of two Fox Searchlight Pictures movies that I have in this update, and. And five out of the six DVDs, I already switched the case to a regular DVD case. Uh, originally, they originally came the um, rental case that my library does, but I prefer to have actual DVD cases instead. Sorry about that. I had to close the door. Anyways, anyways let's go on to the next DVD.
even though this is a re-release by Lionsgate Home Entertainment, the DVD itself is still the 2009 DVD release, I believe, from Merrimack Home Entertainment. Now, I originally had this this movie along with Any Which Way You Can on Blu-ray, but I decided to, in a two-pack, but I decided to give away my two-pack Blu-ray, and I actually decided to get these on DVD instead. And the original DVD releases with the original poster, in my opinion. Or the original cover art, that is. This movie is released by IFC Films and was released on DVD by MGM Home Entertainment. One of the <clears throat> this is one of the couple IFC Films movies that was released on DVD and VHS by MGM back in the day. And this DVD is a full model from Video Arcade. This one also came from my library, it used to belong to my library. This one's my first Music Box Films DVD I have. This movie's in English and Russian with, with English subtitles. This next DVD was brand new, sealed when I bought it, but I already opened it, and originally, and it originally came from Big Lots for three Big Lots for three dollars. This is a Sony Pictures Classics movie. This is one of three Sony Pictures Classics movies that I have in this update, and. This DVD is from 2005 from Sony Pictures Home Entertainment, but this DVD actually has the Columbia Tricer Home Entertainment logo at the beginning, so this might be one of the last DVDs to have the Columbia Tricer Home, Video Home Entertainment logo at the beginning. I have Bon, Voy bon Voyage on DVD. This next, this next DVD I got for the sub is a replacement copy. My original copy that I got from Goodwill on January this year is a bit scuffed up and it's really damaged. So when I found this copy that's in better condition, that's in much better condition, I decided to throw, throw out that my other copy and replace it with this one. And this is another Sony Pictures Classics. This is another movie from Sony Pictures Classics. Now this next DVD is 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 a really interesting one. Yep. I found a DVD copy of of the movie of the movie Killers of the Flower Moon, which is a which was which this movie was nominated for Best Picture of 2023, but it lost to Oppenheimer, of course. And this movie's from Paramount Pictures, and it was also released by Apple Studios, and this movie this movie has not been released on DVD or Blu-ray yet, but somehow I found this DVD copy, because Apple Films doesn't allow 
movies to be released on doesn't la doesn't release those movies on DVD or Blu-ray for some odd reason. And this is actually a real DVD disc. I looked up if there are any copies of this online, and apparently there really I don't see any copies on of this DVD online, so I couldn't believe I found this this DVD of this movie because it's not released on DVD or Blu-ray yet. So yeah, this is a really surprising find. And it's pretty cool because I do want to check this movie out at some point. Because I heard it's, this one's supposed to be really good. This movie is in Italian with English subtitles, and this movie is released by Focus War, which is a sub label for Focus Features. And this DVD was released by Virgil Films. I and I, I put the act, and this one comes in a Blockbuster DVD case. Well, I switched the case to this Blockbuster DVD case, and, and if you press play. When the if you press play on the DVD menu, this DVD actually it actually has the 2012 Universal 100th Anniversary logo at the begin, along the Focus World logo. So I'm guessing um, Virgil Films decided to release this movie on DVD instead of Universal. So that's interesting. And here's the last Sony Pictures Classics movie that I have in this update. Even though I'm not really a fan of Ashley Tisdale, I decided to go ahead and give this movie a try. And this movie also has Kevin Pollack's, Pollack, so that's why I decided to go ahead and check this movie out. And this movie was a made-for-TV movie from 2008 that aired on ABC Family. And this movie's from MGM. This comes in a pink DVD case, which is interesting. And this DVD case is, is a little cracked right here, so... But the disc is still in okay condition. This movie I originally had on VHS, but I decided to get it on DVD. I'm guessing this DVD originally came from, F, from an FYE store. Because of the sticker. And has this, the exchange ticket right here. This D this this DV is a full mirror from Blockbuster. Um July 1st, 2010.
Now, here's something really strange about this, this disc. This is a flipper disc. It says side A is the R-rated version of Sex Drive, and the other side, side B, is the unrated version of Sex Drive. But, however, this side actually has the movie, has the unrated version of the film, and this side actually has the R-rated version of the movie instead. So, this one, so this copy is, a, is probably a malfunction DVD, but this DVD still works. I guess this, this copy is an error disc. My copy, that is, so yeah. This next DVD is from the Fox World Cinema series. This comes in a subcover case. Comes in 2011 slipcover case. But the DVD stuff is still the original 2003 DVD release. And this movie is in French with English subtitles. And this is the other movie that I have that's released by Foxers like Peters that I got in this update. So this is one of the few foreign language films that Fox Searchlight Pictures ever released. I actually, kind of, I actually kind of wish they released more foreign language films, in my opinion. And this is on a flipper disc, currently on the, the widescreen side. The other side is full screen. And I filed this one under the English title, The Spanish Apartment. This movie is made by Touchstone Pictures and Merrimax Films. I switched the library case to this Eco case. And here's the last DVD for this update. And this is the last DVD that I got from the library sale that originally came from my library. And this movie is from the Weinstein Company, along with Radius TWC, and it's released on DVD by Anchor Bay Entertainment. As you can see, this is the only library. DVD that I got from my library's book and Mia so that came from the library that I haven't switched the case yet. So I will at some point. And lastly, here are the three Blu-rays they have for this update. And all three of these Blu-rays are Criterion Collection Blu-rays, which all these I got from the Criterion Collection 50% off flash sale on Wednesday, along with the DVDs of Ivan's, of Ivan's Childhood and Shortcuts. So here are the three Blu-rays. Side number 428. 1961 movie from Universal. Has this little um, comic... Thing, this comic book like thing.
I heard this movie's supposed to be a I heard this movie's supposed to be a good 90s movie, so I went ahead and ordered this one. Sign number is 336. And this is another Universal film, but it was released under Gramercy Pictures. And this is the 2023 second print of this Blu-ray. So this so this one does not come in the um like the slip box that was originally released in 2011, which is which is disappointing, but that's okay. I don't know why they discontinued that version. And here's the last Blu-ray for this update. Side number 151. This is another movie that I heard really good things about, so just had to order this one. And this movie is from USA Films and is currently owned by Universal. And there's no background artwork. And that's it for my DVD and Blu-ray update for October 27th, 2024. Hope you guys enjoy this new movie update and see you guys later for some more videos coming soon.